this is Pasta Purple. We are doing parenting tips and today we are looking at the game of memory. We are with the Doc McStuffins version of memory because we love Doc. We believe that every household should have a brown girl version of memory because it helps us all to expand our brains and our identities. So we, um, in our house, everybody in the house except for me loves to play games and I've fostered it. So the children absolutely adore board games. I fostered it. I've positively encouraged it, but I cannot bear it. Seriously, I grew up in a household where my mum didn't really play board games and didn't really play board games with me. She encouraged me in puzzles and quizzes and, you know, put paper, you know, one-on-one -on -one games. And so I didn't really have many opportunities. And then when my sisters came along, because they were so close together and a lot further away from me, they would play a lot of games, but not with me. So I'm not a gate board games person. Uh, so I've had to learn this discipline. And I'm telling you this because it has been a discipline to learn the, um, the good things that come out of the simple things of board games uh, and the bonding moments. And so I share with you this because this one is like the basic... Like you can play this by this yourself. You don't need to have other people. So it's probably the only board game that I know and love, you know, memory. You just need to put all the pieces down. I can play that. I don't require other people, which is why I think I like the game because I think it's the competitive nature of me that does not like other people to win maybe and I'm not very good at it. I don't know. Anyway, what I have noticed about playing board games with my children, all of them, in all of the varying stages of um, going through difficult times, of not accepting loss, going through difficult times, of wanting to win everything and us not letting them, the lessons that have come, what I have noticed is the building of not only the bonding between me and them, but the building of their own identity as a human. And that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. So we're playing this game, me and my two-year-old. Um, well, she's playing and I'm observing and, you know, encouraging and keeping her on task. So we start with a different version of memory. We have a, I can't remember what version, uh, just a plain simple cards version and she had to match the animals or something. And she's, I can see her developing her sense of competitiveness, her sense of identity of who she likes to be and what she likes to do. And she's really just kind of enjoying the process. And, you know, she's celebrating and she has her own little dance that she does when she matches it. And, you know, she's like, look, mom, look what I can do. And she's high fiving. And so she has her own way of being. And I I just noticed that immediately. And I thought that's really interesting. Something I had not noticed about playing a board game is the sense of identity in who you are that you can build from such a young age. I mean, she's two and already you can kind of see her personality really coming alive when she plays a game, especially competitively against me, in quotation marks, because I didn't really play in the traditional sense of the word. Um, and so when we got out there, she wanted to go again. And I decided instead of playing the same one again, because she looked like she was on that point where it might all go flying in the air, we'd get a different one out. So we got the Doc McStuffings one out because it's her favourite character, so let's get that one out. So she was very delighted, she got all the dock pieces out, we put them all down on the floor. Uh, you have to keep her really on task to get them all lined up so that you can kind of have the rows, so you can... <laughs> otherwise they're just scattered pieces and goodness knows what happens to your memory. Um, and so she started working. And I could see her tiredness, you know, there are 36 cards I think it is in this particular box. Uh, so it's not as short and easy as the last one was. This is for three-year-olds, so it was aimed a little, pitched a little above her. Um, and it is for two to six players, so it should be that someone else is playing with you, which speeds up the process, of course. You're turning more cards. Um, but she played it, and it was really wonderful to bond with her, to enjoy the victory, to see her disappointment, to get her frustration... And in a really safe way to guide those emotional journeys without it being filled with conflict. Because, you know, I don't like to play games. It's not my thing. I'm not like loving this and racing every evening that we have games time together or something. I It's just not my thing. So it's outside of my comfort zone, which then means that I can actually objectively look and see, okay, I need to push harder 
uh, to bond, I need to push harder to encourage, and I know all the areas where I'm letting down on. So I guess my encouragement to you today is, if you are a person like me, who is not a games person, like you don't play board games or what have you, and you're just like, no, this is not for me, try simple things, especially if you've got little, little children. So I try something simple like memory, and then observe your child. Actually look at what they're getting out of the experience, because you'll notice that they're bonding with you. So the celebrations are with you. You'll notice when they get frustrated and they want to throw the pieces, they're at you. So they are bonding and trying to learn all of these things about their identity and who they are through the medium of playing a really, really easy, simple game, which doesn't actually hurt to play. So that's kind of my tip for today. I hope that it makes sense and I hope that you can have some fun times with your kids. As they get older, the games get more complicated and so do the rules and then you have to keep up with that. But that's a different talk for a different time. This one is aged at, aimed at little children. All right then. Have a good one. Bye bye.